Olivia, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to go steal that man away from that girl on the date. Oh, you You gonna do it? <laughs> She's too nice for it? You too nice? in a fight with a boy within reason because I have my best friend tell me that I'm in the right for me and upset so I ordered comfort food and I'm gonna eat that with my alcohol and Olivia's not talking because she lost her voice finished all the chicken wings and apparently I was super sexy eating all of them so then we bumped into this kid who's then now friends with this other kid we're all gonna walk to a different bar and then this old guy wanted to talk to me because he liked my how I ate my chicken wings <laughs> but um what can I say I'm talented so now we're gonna go I hope they're not creepy but so far they're pretty good I don't know if he can hear me but I'm in his jacket so he's not gonna kill me because he'll get blood on the jacket just thinking things through. So now, we're gonna go. That's them talking. <laughs> There's the other person. I still have food in my teeth. I couldn't get it all the way out. Okay, we gotta go. go my physical weapons and my strippers booties go. My versus will be serving. I can put you virgin. I'm a goblin remix. I'll be with no virgin. Every time I go out, I show you guys some stuff and then I feel like I talk about it because there's so many things that I forget to capture or, you know, it's just inappropriate to pull my phone out. So let me tell you about last night. So last night, uh, we decided to hit up kind of like a circle of bars and it was, you know, it was a good time. And then this guy comes over to us and he starts talking, but then, you know, he starts talking about politics and he starts just saying stuff that's like, I don't know, just, it was kind of misogynistic. And then he started mansplaining politics to us. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Like politics is so much in my household. I don't want to hear it. And it was just, he just went on and on and on about it. And most of the stuff, like he already knew my point of view. So with him just kind of like agreeing, was him just trying to prove himself? I don't know. I was exhausted by it. I was like, okay, cool. You know, like, this is kind of intense, whatever. So we leave and we go to another bar and like, I don't want to get like all personal and stuff. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I don't want to get like all personal and stuff, but you know, I was kind of like in a text argument. Um, and so I was really mopey. And so I had been drinking and like, luckily I wasn't texting people. I'm like, oh, you're so, like so sad or like texting them back. Like I'm so angry, you know? Um, but you know, I, I'm like, Definitely feeling buzz and I decide to order wings like nobody else is eating at these at this bar And if you know like when I eat with my hands, it's just Disgusting I had like ranch like all over my face like all down my hands and I guess it was really hot because this guy approached us with these drinks and Not only that but then another guy approached us trying to like one up the guy who was talking to us he's like is he even like you guys his boyfriend you know talking smack he was an old guy and you know i wanted to shake his hand and just get sauce all over his hand because he was just being obnoxious and then he made a point to hug me and i'm thinking like I, I can't do anything back like my hands are covered in sauce i'm just trying to mope and eat my wings and you're hugging me so olivia got the cue and just kind of pulled him off and like set him on his way. It's like, oh, okay. And then we decided to walk to our favorite bar. And the first guy who was talking to us um, when I was eating these wings wanted to escort us and he had his friend. And maybe it wasn't like safe or not, but I was like, you know what? I'll borrow one of their jackets because they're not gonna kill me if 
you know, if I'm wearing leather jackets, like they don't want their nice jacket covered in my blood. So we did that, we walked over, and then feminism came up, and the tag along friend, he was older and he kind of, he got it, but the other one was just trying to sound like, like he totally understood and super deep, and it was just kind of, you know, it was whatever because he was younger than us. I mean, he should already know, but you know, maybe give him a pass. I don't know. Like that's so iffy to talk about. So, but he starts then talking about like going so far in depth about this Me Too movement. And finally, Olivia just has to tell him, have you ever thought like just treating women like they're people? That like, that's the only thing. You don't have to freak out about anything else. Just treat women like they're people. So we go to the bar and it is a fun time, especially because I'm with Olivia, we're dancing. And don't get me wrong, both of them mean well, but then the other guy decides he's going to try to impress Olivia and get super deep about everything. So he has like his pilot's license and he's showing people like, oh, like that's so impressive. Like, we don't care, come on. And he goes on to talk about like, he goes on to tell Olivia, I, I'm just like repeating what Olivia told me, but he goes, I haven't told a lot of people this, but just when I fly, it makes me feel so free. Like this freedom experience is just so free. Just, just <laughs> so dorky. And then he tries to tell like Olivia, like who she is as a person. Like, you know, I see that you're just playing with your drink and you're not really drinking it. You seem very calculated, you know, like trying to read her like she knows, like he knows her and try to sound deep and impressive. And by then, like, he wasn't gonna get any phone number by the end of that. And so we ended up leaving, and it was funny, I called an Uber, and it was 10 minutes away. And besides the fact that it was raining outside and we were kicked outside, Olivia's like, I can't wait, you know, cancel the ride. Like, I'm sorry there's a fee because our Lyft driver can be here in one minute and I just wanna get out of here. So that's what we did, I mean, I hope they subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> That'd be very nice of them. Um, but his tag along friend, I don't know if that's rude to call him that, but I don't wanna bring too many characters into this story. He was really nice. So, you know, he, he's someone like if I bumped into again, like it, we'd talk and have a chill time and all that. His friend, I don't think he's really gonna be invited to much. That was just exhausting. I don't know, I don't know what it was. was you know, I feel like Usually, maybe I'm just kind of always seeing the good in people, but there was just so much sexism last night, like so much, you know, and I just don't really want to deal with it right now. Okay, so there's one more thing that I need to update you guys about, and that is the Lyft driver. Now, the Lyft driver was nice, but oh my God, he was so weird. So I remember, so like right away, like we're starting to talk about how weird that one kid was, you know, and the Lyft driver is like, Oh God, I'm so bored listening to this. If if this was a blind date, I'd kick you out of my car. <laughs> and then he is insistent on listening to this Aerosmith song where it was like monkeys on my back. And he's like, do you have that song? We gotta listen to it, we gotta listen to it. Blah, 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 like kept insisting. So then we play it and he's just blaring it and he's just jamming along to the song he requested in the car. And I was like, okay, you know. Then he goes on to talk about how he ran over a dog. <laughs> and, you know, I was like, what the heck? And I don't know if it was just the fact that so much time has gone by and he, you know, he can't change it so he didn't sound as remorseful as he should. But do you know how weird it is to just casually tell someone you ran over a dog? And he said, oh, I know I killed it. I could hear the hear the bones breaking and... And I'm thinking, oh my God, like, so I asked him if he was driving anyone and then like these, if people were traumatized in the car watching this happen. And he said it was the time that he was doing his Pizza Hut job. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you like ran over this dog. And then he was saying how the dog just wanted to commit suicide. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's, that's exactly what. And it was so weird. Like, who, who does that? <laughs> this is like the left driver. It's just so weird. Oh my God. And it's not funny that he ran over a dog, but just like the whole scenario of this is like, please don't murder me in my home. I put a couple labels in my clothes. Um, and then we 
and I'll send that to you, and then from there we can work on making some of the modifications that still need to be made. Okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you for being patient.